an earlier class. Today, the 14th of September, this is the first lab class on the Python. We quickly cover up the Python as as quickly as possible. I think some of you have already covered up Python, but the logic should be clear. That's why we have to learn another language, computer language, Python. Uh, around five years back, it is not there. Uh, not there. Why Python? Uh, earlier, the the C is there, right now also C is there. Earlier C++ also there, right now in the syllabus. C++ not there, but though I do not agree. The why the Python you should learn. The thing is that whenever you will be the computer science graduate, then you should have at least, at least two to three language to your repository. You should be at least confident two or three languages. The what are those languages? C, C is kind of a Sanskrit like when if you are good at Sanskrit you can learn any any Indian language and any foreign language or if you learn Latin you can learn any French English right this is like that it is kind of a mother language it is kind of a assembly language why kid assembly language because you have to put everything into it C is basically very friendly to the computer hardware but not friendly to the programmers and which is the language so that why the language language is if they're programmers uh, uh, information so that you can talk with the, your machine to do some useful thing so see you have to you have to write a very large amount of code and if a large amount of code the maintenance is costly and but in python the code is much less and whenever the code is less and the maintenance is low cost and uh, and paradigm change has happened so right now, see in machine learning things, what is machine learning? Like in your data structure and lab classes, you are right now doing the learn programming. And But what is machine learning is totally reverse. So you, you learn how to program, put your data structure first. What you do not think about the data structure. You first first think whether which algorithm it is. Algorithm can be many times, like you know, brute force algorithm, like your selection sort or bubble sort uh, or insertion sort these are brute force on whenever the you, you get the um, uh, your your com algorithmic complexity o n square now whenever you go for the divide and conquer policy like bar sort like heap sort you immediately get advantage of log n to the base 2 so then the complexity is n log n to the base 2 if n is greater than 20, 32 or thir if we n is 32 you do not get much but whenever n is 1000 or 10 to the power 6 you get the march sort is much better than your insertion sort so that is a divide and conquer policy then another algorithm is the greedy greedy algorithm like uh, whenever you are a, a, a graph uh, you want to maximum shortest path uh, which path you should go to node 1 to uh, last note you, you should go for the greedy algorithm whichever is the first uh, route whichever is the shortest so there is greedy algorithm divide and conquer algorithm then another type of algorithm called dynamic programming dynamic programming so that you always uh, make a, a small subset take a solution for this try to su take solution for uh, for outside also divide the different types of algorithm you need a different type of data structure but uh, and programming language it can be you learn already from data structure classes that uh, complexity doesn't depend on programming language uh, so then who, what else if the complexity doesn't depend ease of programming maintenance of programming and uh, library utilities these are really affect a lot like whenever you are making an android app development then definitely your java is the better choice java or kotlin okay not c not c plus plus even not python so even if you go for a machine learning things like uh, all these things i right now machine learning problem hard i have discussed in some other topics then uh, c c plus plus is a very poor candidate even java is also poor candidate then the python is there r is there these are open source uh, languages and if you want to go device driver so if you are really hooked a device driver you want to wait embedded device controlling embedded device then definitely see so these are the different languages you have to learn it for different purpose so uh, this is thing uh, anybody uh, can make a question here but this is a, this is a class uh, so interactive uh, you please uh, take tell your name and ask a question 
make your mic off ask a question i'm waiting for a question i'm waiting for a question yes please any question yeah name please and question because of the whole screen is with mine the your name and question anyone yes okay so we carry on we uh, take the questions later on so the this is the python and these are the various packages around it uh, our quick focus will be uh, my focus will be uh, first uh, you have to make a group uh, that group will be totally decided upon you it may be maximum uh, three minimum two or one okay uh, it is preferable you should make a group of three uh, and and it should be uh, all lateral should not be in a group uh, that is um, you mix group such a way and try to make a group who have a divergent uh, views like somebody is a very good at programming somebody is a youtube video better like this it totally depends on you and you have to do minimum one project with me in this lab okay and another project with shubhash is said whoever said is there you can use the same project in different way i i don't mind but i want a project from you uh, on python uh, and that project blueprint has to be that what you want to do you have to uh, show me in next one or two weeks that this we have decided uh, to do a project the project preferably which is the python is better to add so kind of a machine learning project and all these things uh, don't worry i will cover everything here uh, you don't have to do anything big much so uh, there that's it so you have to make a small group and uh, project should be a, a, a kind of a game python based game or machine learning or all these things and we basically cover uh, total python as quickly as possible okay so these are the um, one thing i must tell you uh, this is numpy is a very very useful package you have to quickly numpy why the python you are using yes first come question python give you the infinite number of uh, integer in c there is a limitation of integers so you can have uh, certain number of integers like uh, If you, if what is the integer size in C typical? It is a uh, long. It is a 64 bit. Uh, so uh, two to the power 64. Uh, to, uh, rather two to the power 63 plus is the maximum size. But in Python, the precision is infinite. That is one great advantage of Python. Python is definitely slower than C. Then why you are choosing Python? Because uh, we have so many powerful machine. We doesn't bother whether it bears slower or not. That is one thing. and python is workable on everywhere uh, it can work on your pc it can your laptop it can be mainframe so it it runs on a virtual machine probably you have certain idea about a virtual machine the advantage of virtual machine is if the sometimes the real machine uh, sunks down then the whole image can be taken out in another machine that can be run so it is, can be that fault tolerant so um, it is always preferable the your You you work on a program which is on a virtual. That means within within a machine you are creating a machine, and that machine is a virtual machine. And advantage of virtual machine is uh, your hardware can be uh, Intel, it hardware can be AMD, your hardware can be 18 chip, your hardware can be uh, Spark, any Spark chip, any uh, modern uh, any modern chip or any old Intel i3. It doesn't matter. So everywhere the only thing is that. Uh, your virtual machine will run faster it or not so that is the most uh, nowadays all languages takes the python or java r all are running on this virtual machine that is the main advantage one is slow but the other advantage like fault tolerant and the load handling you can run multiple threads of the programming on different virtual machines on different location so these are the uh, great things about the uh, virtual machine so numpy is handling all the mm, uh, numerical things all the uh, say matrix mal calculation and all these things numpy plotly it, it gives you beautiful plots uh, this is natural language processing nltk uh, uh, py game you can develop uh, the python based game django is one kind of framework uh, so that 
it is web based framework so we can run python so quickly learn as quickly as possible if you have any question you can tell me at any point okay, thank you yes. so i will come to that uh, i think you have covered a little bit of earlier so just directly go to the python itself have covered my, my earlier class yeah python is created in 1991 guidi van rasam it is uh, at the same time james costling has developed java uh, but he is a brilliant man uh, in fact he is so involved in python uh, had his teachers taken out for his passing his btech degree so he whenever he's undergraduate he has developed python uh, now he is a uh, uh, still the taking care of the python he was with uh, uh, some time he was with uh, big companies uh, is guidi van rasam so just uh, we start to we start to write the python code itself okay so how to do it the best thing is uh, one best thing is python code is uh, google colab okay you can uh, download python interpreter and it depends on the google colab how to go to google colab it just you everybody please go to your gmail and put your another window and uh, write google space colab and then you go to there okay i uh, just i'll i'll going going to there yeah any case you do not understand me then you please tell me i'm i'm coming to Yes. What you do? You 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 just you just put your Gmail. See here, I am putting my Gmail. I I am going to Gmail here. Yeah, this is this is my Gmail account. And then I I just I change my Gmail account. See another Gmail account I am right now working. Yeah. And then you you go there. You you go there. I put another account. You just put Google Colab. Please follow. Is the screen is av available to you? Go Google. Yes. Colab. This is nothing but a Google has provided a uh, environment so that you can run and test your program. So just write Google Colab, and you just click it uh, first link. Yeah, you have already come to this, and you just accept it. Yes, and you go there. File, new notebook. It's slower. First time it looks slower, but it will. How to make it faster? It will be. Come. First time it will be slow. Yeah, your code is running. See what is the advantage uh, with the C? Well, you see, you have to write a include standard io dot h main uh, void main opening bracket close then opening bracket second bracket open then you have to write uh, printf command printf hello world and then bracket end here is nothing so you have to just write print uh, hello python you will get it okay. okay that is great another thing is yeah you have, you have to add code plus plus add code and another thing is see here 12 plus 2 yeah it is almost like a calculator that is great it is almost like a calculator uh, 12 plus 2 i can uh, get it uh, this thing uh, another thing is say int i just see int 1 int 1 12 Yeah, I take the intern twelve. Fine. Then I I I write it. Any anything? I think everything body is follow print 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 ID of int one. Yeah, this is what is this? I'll I'll come to this. What is this? Uh, uh, another thing is, 
Yep. Are you getting that int1 is 12 and int2 equal to 12 and id it is a kind of a special pointer in python and they give the same value say so they are saving the space uh, assigning the same space but if you change it say if you change it to int int2 equal to 13 then you again say copy selection then you delete this one oh, this is uh, int2 uh, int1 ok then int2 then I set int2 see now it is changes I will ju just do it once more if we say I will just do it once more int3 I will take int3 equal to 12 and print int3 print copy selection print int3 int3 ok see here first 8448 last one also 8448 because what is the reason int 3 is 12 in both cases int 1 and int 3 so python internally arranged a same pointer please it is don't take it as a pointer because i i never telling it a pointer but that there is no concept in a python it is the id and it, you cannot never use it in any place so this is it but if you change it to uh, any value say 14 14 now you see you run the code ok now it is changed agreed so that is one and we go to the more detailed uh, experiment here in my another uh, another open ok so this is one thing I want to show you I think any any issue you can always tell me ok now uh, one one great thing I will show you once see it here yeah in python you can have a set concept that is you don't have any data structure in uh, C you don't have the set concept I will come the python you have a many various kinds of concept uh, one concept in python doesn't have direct python that is array uh, it, you have to get the numpy uh, to get array and but python has a very powerful concept of list list is a kind of a array where you have a dissimilar object can be there that is a list and list is you can have a dissimilar objects and list can be updated set is a again a uh, set of objects but set is no duplication can be there like in you, our set concept in our mathematics uh, no order system no duplication then you have a tuple tuple is a, a, a duplication can be there but it cannot be added or deleted any item and uh, you might ask uh, then we have a frozen set frozen set is a kind of a set that you cannot add any item to it so why you can ask why you have python is giving so many data structures because it's all needed in a programming python has given another important data structure that is called a dictionary that is nowhere you can get it in your uh, c a dictionary is is a is a index pair is a pair uh, left hand and right hand left index you can left is always a uh, immutable it cannot change and right hand side can be mutable so but the left hand side should be unique so you can uh, say your roll number your roll number is a unique or your other card number is a unique uh, they are uh, uh, can be key id uh, uh, and 
your name any other card number can have a same name so so that is the thing in a dictionary you can have a duplicate items uh, same key value should not be there so we we uh, have some uh, examples then that it will be clear i hope it will be clear we try and then any time you do not understand please raise your hands and you tell me i this is kinds of object oriented programming i'll uh, i'll do it little later i'll just see where we can start we can start right now any problem you can always tell me. i'll again repeat all this thing don't do it yeah i think we can start here say I, this is a uh, python data structure concept dictionary so uh, the dictionary you don't have to write dict1 or dict2 so how the python learn is a dictionary uh, by the second bracket opening and second bracket close and within it we have certain pairs uh, separated by colon the left i think uh, i make it a bit bigger size is it okay is it visible Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit jumping up the topic. I'll uh, do not worry. I'll again come back and again clear it up. Uh, I, I want to do certain extra things whichever you will not find in your C programming. Uh, the one great thing is a dictionary. So, a dictionary is uh, nothing but a data structure. Uh, you, how the Python knows the dictionary? Only by that opening second bracket here. and closing second bracket here and all the items should be separated by comma and uh, these are the within inverted quote this is a key and this cannot be duplicated and uh, and the right hand side is the value so uh, then uh, if we run it say so we can see it, print length this is the python supplied uh, function length of dict1 is 3 uh, print a dict on gate p so this is a, this is a key so i want the gate p so gate p is 2 you see it here and dict a1 is i i am putting in another new i can change it dictionary means i can change it so earlier it was a is 1 i can now put a is equal to 5 then i print dict 1 so i get this a5 so this is a very powerful concept of dictionary you can have any number and another thing is dictionary can contains a dictionary uh, i'll come but at least if you have any doubt this is a dictionary concept uh, this thing should not be a changeable one by python there are certain things are mutable and immutable like in c language your array is a mutable object in c language mutable means you can change it you can go to uh, any index and you can change it and p and in c there is no concept of string but whenever you learn java or python there is a concept of string comes string means it is immutable you cannot change in whenever in computer science uh, the computation comes see my name is somnath s o m e n a t h my name cannot be changed like a somnath or uh, sam like this so it is better somnath to be together and i if i declare it as a immutable so operations of the name somnath will be much quicker uh, if it is immutable so i first declare a data type that my uh, our first name last name because it whenever it is already entered into the system so your aadhar card it is immutable you should not change is immutable if it is immutable then there will be lot of mistakes can happen in data entry time and lot of this thing so whatever data we are seeing is around the world some are mutable and some are immutable mutable means you cannot change it once you declare like your data part you cannot change it earlier some jokes are there but right now the uh, maybe some of our few of earlier prime minister new, new prime minister maybe two three data parts but not like us we have only one single up data part so like data part your your blood group your father's name your mother's name your aadhar card your passport number these are immutable and so if we have if we can have a data structure which is immutable that will be helpful and which are, which is mutable like a number of students in the class it, it is be mutable it can be changed student may come and join so that is great thing the python supports uh, so 
this, this portion, the key portion should be immutable one. Okay, so it cannot be a list. The list is mutable. It can be tuple. Tuple is a is a kind of a list which you cannot add anything. Uh, I'll come. What is tuple and uh, dictionary? If you have any doubt, you can always like another dictionary. The dictionary physics chemistry. This is a string. Okay, this is an immutable. Uh, see and dictionary update. I can give a command update. I can add these values. Print it. Now this is. The, see this. Is, you can run it. Now another command is assert. Say x is equal to 10, y is equal to 8. What is assert? Some error. Uh, why some error? I, I'll, I'll check it. x is equal to 1. I think. Greater than one, so that is no problem. If it is a say, seven error, because seven is less than eight. So this kind of it is uh, what is the useful of it? I will tell you. I will just quickly quickly go through. Is yeah, this is one. Yeah, this is one a dictionary. Uh, how I know the dictionary? The uh, this op opening braces there and closing braces there, and this is the key, key and this is the item. This can be changed. Uh, and I a dict pop means I am taking one book at a time. Print dictionary. Let's see what happens. See, diary one, novel one, and they are taking the book. One pop and then it print dictionary. See, again you hear it. So just copy It is very easy to print code. See, first one is uh, diary one novel 5 but I take one book this book I am popping so if I, I if I print it here see if I print tick 3 copy selection see here uh, this is the first I initialize a dictionary then I print a dictionary then it gives yeah dictionary uh, dictionary Diary, book, novel. Then I take the pop. Like a, your uh, command is like your uh, stack. I w I wish to take this book away. Now we have only two books. Diary one, novel five. Agreed? Anybody? Any doubt? Any doubt? Please. Should I okay, should I go ahead? Should I go ahead, please? Another okay. Yes, yes. Please tell me. Is okay for you, dictionary? Yes, anyone? Anyone, please? Okay. Let's go to another command that is called sets. Uh, sets is, is the same as a dictionary. Uh, second bracket opening and second bracket closing. But no pair concept it is set like here sets first I declare sets three four five and then I sets update one two three see here three is duplicated but whenever you print sets three is taken only one that is really a concept of a set on maths so there is no ordering here though it is given that way so if we update it say we update it once more just to uh, I update it like say comma 8 I up, update it with another value and we run this uh, this portion see with the 8 is updated those sets how to 
see the difference between sets and dictionary sets is the second bracket opening and second bracket closing and all items are separated by a comma and dictionary same comma but there is a colon and pair concept is a pair wise so dictionary is like this uh, it is same but it is a pair concept with a quoted inverted commas with the key value pair it's called it a key it's a value key value key value okay so that is a dictionary one typical data structure you not find in c and this is a sets data structure you cannot find it this then i can take this is a some a very short uh, eval like i want to it is called kind of a macro you just see 3 to 2 to 6 plus 1 eval with a command you can write it this is you can give the print command with the variable so for your case it will be say cac 23 b group 2 so another one say 23 I am give a print command. It is like a same as a C command. If you know how to uh, parameter passing in a printf command, uh, this is a name one. How the name one comes? Name one comes from here. So if you want to make a name one, hello name one and name two, and format name one should be given here and name two is here. The print command would be like this. This is a very simple C command like C. Okay, I am just okay. Now I wish to see a certain take off. This is uh, a little bit ahead. If you if you say if you cannot uh, tell me, this is a kind of a concept called class. Class is. you create a template uh, and basically in object oriented programming you can we are all uh, because i am a teacher object i am created from a teacher class and you are a student object you are creating a from student class this is on particular concept called object oriented programming uh, java is famous for this when in python you can have both the advantage of c and java in c The object oriented programming it is not there. C plus plus it is there. Uh, Java is purely object oriented programming. They think everything is an object. If its main program is object, Python a mixture of both. So here, uh, this is the main thing. Say we have a class, a, a object. I am creating a class, and I'm and give the this is the initializer. This is the Java you can call the constructor. The initializer underscore underscore meaning. self count is equal to 100 okay self count count object i have not initialized anything object to i have initialized i am just getting the value let's see what happens don't forget about everything see here whenever i am not initializing then it takes the value 100 why i am giving the default value 100 and whenever i am giving the value 102 then it takes the 102 so this is a concept of a creation of a class uh, and very simple way and how to create object uh, i can create object with the given parameter like here i am giving the parameter 102 it comes with the 102 and if i don't give anything here so then uh, default is 100 how it is it is a class it is it is called constructor Uh, and how to use the constructor in java the class name and constructor name is same in python it is different the class name 
and always constructor should be double underscore in it double underscore in it and within it is the construction parameters and there's a colon here and you should have a definitely uh, a uh, a tab distance always the, you have to maintain the same tab tab can be two character or three character or four character even one character but the you should maintain the distance my recommendation is you should at least go for two character tabs okay any question till now okay same thing uh, i am trying some more things please bear with me i am searching for a program such for here so here this is object definition i i wish to cover the list and i have to cover is the tuple there's the two things i must cover right now otherwise Python uh, tuple versus list. First of all, list I told you is a kind of a array, but the difference between array and uh, list is uh, array in C all values should be of same type, but in uh, Python list a, a array value can be integer, floating point number, a string, anything, and list can be uh, and uh, list. How do you recognize list by the opening square bracket and the ending square bracket? How you know how the set is it will be opening uh, second bracket closing second bracket in opening second bracket second bracket ending with the pairs it will be dictionary so at least you know list is like this and tuple is you can see it opening first bracket closing first bracket what is the difference between list and tuple tuple is same as list but you, it is immutable why is immutable immutable is much more faster in processing so that is the reason why we are using immutable okay tuples are immutable in nature list are mutable in nature there are 33 available methods and tuples that will make some uh, programs now 46 list is more uh, more functional so definitely and in dictionary we can create keys using tuples that i have told the tuples means which you cannot change the list is created using this like uh, if you create in our program this is list so any type of value okay list tuple is created this immutable processing is faster than list the dictionary i have covered uh, dictionary always a with the second bracket a pair concept. okay it's a pair concept. with a separated by comma set i have again covered a set is immutable collection of immutable collection of unordered unique items okay immutable it cannot be changed you can okay Achha, list and tuple there are many list and mutable tuples are immutable that i already covered list consume more memory definitely if you, you have to manipulate you have to changeability you have to take more memory that is it in list is slower these things will be given to you do not worry all are very not so this is a summary of the things these are these things are uh, c doesn't support list c doesn't support tuple c doesn't support set c doesn't support dictionary c only have a concept of array which is mutable which is changeable but why they have given so many choices in python because it gives you a advantage to the programmer to write a faster program that is it is a it is a mutable this is mutable ordered you can make index and slicing duplicate items can be there tuple not mutable but ordered index slicing duplicate item index slicing i'll cover in the next class set mutable but not ordered no slicing no duplicate items any question you have anyone okay good
great. Sets. A set is an unordered collection of objects, unlike sequence objects at least in tuple. Uh, like set is, I, this is a set. The set, okay. Dictionaries and other sets are not okay. So already said frozen set you cannot add. Set is an unordered collection of items. There is a typical question: What is the difference between the frozen set and tuple? This is the typical question asked. Tuple can have duplicate items, but frozen set cannot have duplicate items. Both are immutable. Frozen set is immutable. Tuple is also immutable. Tuple can contain duplicate items or triplicate items. Frozen set cannot. But both can be used as a dictionary key. Okay. So this is a typical question asked. Any item. Uh, this is. A set, you get the set, and this you get this is double equal means you are you are asking for is it true or not? Okay. See if you are this is is it true or false? Detected double whether it is true or not. This is a Python dictionary that I have told. Uh, this is a key. This is a key value. And this is the value. The key. This is value. Okay. okay. Right now, I, I just uh, little bit go back to you. 